Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be making the um, Nepenthes Care video that I promised you all a week ago. So this video is going to be kind of a three-in-one video because I do have two more things I want to show you besides the Nepenthes Care, but let's get to the picture plant care. So taking care of Nepenthes is very easy. They, they, are, they are the easiest carnivorous plant that, that a starter can have because they are very forgiving. You can water them with tap water if you don't have any distilled water, but only for two weeks, because then they will start to wilt from my own experiment. And it's really simple. So all you need is a container. Um, if it doesn't have drainage holes, that's fine. Just don't put too much water in there. You need to have them in peat moss or sphagnum moss, or a mixture of the two. They need to have natural light, and, and, and you can have them under a plant to grow light, because obviously they, they're supposed to mimic natural light. But, but I noticed that they tend to like the natural light way more than that. And you need to spray their pitchers every once in a while, so I'd say that every day, one in the mornings and one in the afternoons. And you only need to spray the forming ones, so ones that look like this, you don't have to spray, and ones that look like this, you don't have to spray, because they're almost about to open. And it is very, very important to do this every day with, with your pitcher plants, because otherwise, you will get pitchers that will just dry up like this, and they will not grow. So I'm going to do the same for this one. You want to spray all the forming pitchers very well. Make sure they get nice and soaked. Because if they don't, they will dry out. And then the last thing that, that you need to do is, is the fertilizer. So the fertilizer isn't really putting stuff into the ground or into the pitchers. It's putting insects into the pitchers, like small grasshoppers. You can put worms in there. You can put a lot of ants in there. So if you, you, I don't know if you can see, but near the bottom there's a massive dark spot. And those are hundreds of ants because um, I had them next to my window, and because, and because under their leaves they secrete a sweet nectar that attracts ants, and they pretty much just feed themselves. And you only have to feed them during the winter when bugs are very scarce. So that's the Nepenthes Care. Now I want to show you something that I have made. Okay, so this is my Nepenthes Seedlings slash Cutting Greenhouse. Um... I'll open the top of it so you can see in there a lot better. I'll zoom out a little too, get closer. So, so, so in the back right here, I have two Nepenthes seedlings. I don't really know what kind they are because I got them from a friend. Um, and here I have two Nepenthes cuttings, and here's a third one. And then I have one Lantern Alatus seedling. So, that's really all that I have here. That's what I wanted to show you there. Now I need to show you some of my Venus flytraps, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here are the Venus flytraps. Um, so, I'm not going to show you my Saracenia, because I put them in a separate pot, and I pretty much did the exact same thing. I put water in the bottom of a small container. But what I wanted to show you was the Venus flytrap blooms, which are here. So, these blooms do not last very long. There's a couple that are already about to produce seeds. So that's why I wanted to show you now instead of wait another two weeks to make a video about them. Because they would have all been gone. So it's doing really good right here. Ever since I've repotted them and put them all together, they have started. They have been growing like weeds. So I guess um, that's what you're supposed to do. So, um, uh, thank you for watching this video, everyone. The box down here is going to show you well, what the algorithm thinks you should watch next on my channel. This box here, this box here is going to show you what uh, last week's video, in case you, in case you missed it. And the circle here is going to lead you to my channel. And the box here is going to lead you to the playlist where I have all the topics in this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.